starts now. An explosive report reveals an ICE deportation officer based in Little Rock forged signatures on arrest warrants for undocumented immigrants. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Donna Terrell. CNN broke this story earlier today. Fox 16's Tyler Thomason joining us with a closer look at these alarming results. Absolutely, Donna. Yeah, according to CNN, Brent Oxley was fired from ICE last May for signing arrest warrants using his supervisor's name. Oxley told CNN he wasn't the only deportation officer doing it, and tonight some people in the natural state remain stunned and upset. Hmm. In the shiny reflection on gold doors outside the state capitol. Absolutely disgusting. Rosa Velasquez scrolls through a news article that's left a blemish on law enforcement. It's very sad to see um, this happening here in, in Little Rock. Online Wednesday, CNN released findings that profile former ICE deportation officer Brent Oxley and his termination for forging supervisor signatures on arrest warrants for undocumented immigrants. Oxley was based right here in Little Rock. In the article, Oxley tells CNN he would look through jail rosters searching for people who might be deportable before doctoring an arrest warrant. Oxley told CNN he wasn't the only officer doing it. We can definitely attest that they are a rogue organization doing whatever they think they can um, and getting away with it. It's a story that hits close to home for Velasquez in more ways than one. She's an immigrant who came to the United States when she was four. She grew up in De Queen and now serves as the advocacy director for Arkansas United. We're gaining a little bit of trust, and stuff like this is definitely detrimental to our work. An ugly revelation that Velasquez fears could be mirrored in other parts of the country. I don't know what to do. In the article, a spokesman for ICE, uh, which is also known as Immigration Customs Enforcement, told CNN that ICE leaders are not aware of any widespread confusion or instances of improperly issued warrants. Mm, very interesting. I'm just wondering, what does this report say about other officers um, accused of doing the same thing, not just the one who was here in Little Rock? Right. Well, CNN cites emails that they say show instances where officers in a five-state region near here also improperly signed warrants on behalf of their supervisors and CNN reports it especially happened on evenings and on weekends. Wow, interesting. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.